Hey guys, it's Anthony Simland here, and you join me for another GTA 5 online video. Unfortunately, Virtual Battlefield can't be with me for this one, as he can't get access to the internet to uh, do any recording, so uh, I'm left to do this one on my own. Now, as you will know, we've got the uh, new DLC, the Import and Export uh, DLC, which has got a lot of new stuff with it. Um, loads of special vehicles. Uh, lots of normal vehicles as well, um, the principal Diablos and the Diablos Custom, Anis Allegri Retro Custom, and what I'll be testing in this video, which is the Pegasi Tempesta and the Ocelot Penetrator. Just to let you guys know which one really to go out there and spend your hard-earned cash on, because let's face it, one thing Rockstar have not failed to do is come up with more and more expensive things to buy. And these are no exception. As you'll see, we have the um, Ocelot Penetrator here. The stats for it are not too bad. It looks good for top speed and acceleration. The braking is terrible. The traction's not too bad. The only issue is, though, I have a funny feeling it may be a little bit slow. Um, however, along with uh, the other car that I'm testing today on this video, I will spend about $150,000 in game dollars just modding the performance parts, the engine, uh, transmission, suspension, all that kind of stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll just take it round, take them round the track and uh, see who clocks the best score. But yeah, that, that's the Ocelot uh, Penetrator and here we have the, um, the Tempesta, the Pegasi Tempesta. Uh, it's looking a little bit better on top speed, acceleration, the braking is not too bad and the traction is pretty good as well. Um, this, out of these two cars, this one is my favourite. I'm a Lamborghini man, I really am, I love Lamborghinis, and this just screams Lamborghini to me. So, fingers crossed, it'll all go well, and it'll win. Fingers crossed. But yeah, we'll soon find out. Anyway, I will be back in a sec, I'm going to take these cars around the test track, and uh, we'll see what times they pull. See you in a sec. And here we are on the test track. I've recorded both of these and put them in split screen so you can get a, a good sense of the speed. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Go! Well, for a start, the Tempesta is quicker off the mark, a lot quicker. Although I have a funny feeling um, the boost helped a little bit. But still, never mind. Let's see. How will we go into the first corner? The Tempesta looking a little bit switchy. The Ocelot maintaining composure really well. And into a tight turn at the top end of the course. Oh, there we go. The Tempesta is flying around the track, but the Ocelot's holding ground. Keep looking, moving through. There we go, just the cross area. I have to admit, the Tempesta does look the better car. I don't know whether it's the all the, the lines and the angles of the body it just makes it look like more of a pin-up car than anything else. Here we are coming into a tight chicane net. There we go. Nice. Both cars handling that very well. So we're more than halfway around the track and the time's looking good. Tempesta really had to slam on its brakes there. But the penetrator is doing very well, it's maintaining, well, it's still far behind, but not too far. It's going to be tight. And coming across the line, there's the Tempesta done. And now the Ocelot done. 127 for the Tempesta and 129 for the penetrator. That's not too bad at all. So. For my money, personally, if you're going to use races, I'd go for the Tempesta. Looks Tempesta, Penetrator. It looks nice, but it's not worth all the money. It really isn't. So that was my little review of these two cars, guys. Obviously, there's going to be more coming up because this DLC has lots of vehicles. Um, so yeah, until next time. Hopefully, I'll be joined by Virtual Battlefield next time. Um, but yeah, until then, like it, favorite, share, give this video to all your friends, and uh, let them know what uh, what the best car to to get is at the minute okay until then bye for now guys